I woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I'm fresh off dick, now I'm focused on the fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? It's your boy Travis checking in. And it's your girl, Queen Key, off in this thing. And this video right here is highly requested. Highly requested. Highly requested, y'all. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? Real 10K squad back again with another video. It's your boy Travis checking in, man. And, um... I guess Tay got a new boyfriend, which I just, I told y'all that her next relationship was going to be a dude because she's done, you know, being gay for pay. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all that. So her next boyfriend is a dude. And uh, I guess the video we about to watch, Jazz supposed to leave her response or reply to the new relationship. Oh, excuse me, the new relationship. So let's check it out and see, you know what I'm saying, what was said on this next video and this next you know installment of jazz and tech let's check it out okay guys so update on this whole situation between tay and her new boo 23kb now if you guys did not hear tay is supposedly is dating or just having fun with a rapper known as 23kb like i said before i'm not really too familiar with this guy i dig on his instagram I've i think he's him. from dallas so it's not too far from houston where tay is from anyways tay and 23kb have been going live both of them included each other on their lives trying to kind of be like funny with it or you know trying to hide each other but then not i'm gonna post clips of both of their lives here So, I take it here at her house. <laughs> it look like a little girl. So then Tay goes on to Snapchat and she explains the relationship that she has with 23KB. She wants it to be known. Okay, y'all. I'm usually silent. I usually let things slide. I usually let things go, but y'all, it's so annoying. It's like y'all want me to be attached to something that didn't be attached to itself for me. It's like y'all want me to chase something that's not even, you know, like a brick wall type shit. Y'all, I'm living life. Is me living my life bothering y'all so much? I'm sorry. Like, I'm gonna kill you type shit. Like, <laughs> I'm chewing this. It's chewing I'm 22, exploring, having fun, meeting new people, making friends. Don't want the fucking business? Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> Okay, so after all this came out, Jazz did go onto Twitter and she tweeted, start over, rebuild, redo, reset as many times as you need to. Now, I'm hoping that she's okay with this whole situation that's okay. going on because from what Tay is saying, Jazz did not want her and eliminated her from her life. So Tay has moved on to doing other things. And so as you can see here, it seems like he may have stayed the night with her. He was cooking noodles in her house. You can Jeez, see Lord the countertop his well. Instagram matches the same countertop that Tay did when she did her house tour. Now look, I know Jeez, Tay is basically chefs. stating that they are not in a relationship, but a boo doesn't have to mean that y'all are like, 
together together like in a relationship i mean you could just be booed up with somebody and not actually be like officially dating them and calling them your boyfriend but of course everyone is going to assume that you guys are together or messing around if you're going live together if you spend the night at your house y'all are doing little cute stuff like y'all are actually messing around even though that y'all are not technically in a relationship yet as always i want to know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below i've seen a lot of people bashing tay stating that she moved on too fast and that she used jazz again even after this like they're trying to you know say that they're not together and all that what do you guys think do you guys think that they're actually messing around or, or are they just friends or again do you think that she may have used jazz and i see some people saying that tay was never even into girls so i want to know That's your opinions on all this down in the comment section below That's a fact. That girl wasn't never into girls, man. Uh, like I said, you could just look at they, when them videos first started, uh, her coming in the picture, like she used to do the Clarence. She used to do how Clarence do Queen. Like, Jazz be trying to kiss her and she be moving back and moving, pushing her off and, and and then be trying to cover it up for the camera and it be all kind of shit like that. So, I, to say that she just used her and moved on, is you know that's that's a big thing to say because she was with her for two three years you know what I'm saying, but I feel like she took advantage of a situation, she came up off of it, and now she's ready to go back to being normal. She's ready to go not normal you know what I'm saying, but she's ready to go back to her norm as in a straight. You know she likes men, she likes young and she's only 22 years old. I didn't realize they were that young man. She's only 22, so it's like man you know I'm missing out on what I like, you know what I'm saying, for 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 wealth, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, so let me move on, generate my own wealth with my own channel and get back to doing me. That's basically what she's doing. Um, it should never been real, man. You can you can just you can feel the vibe, you can tell. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I really think on Jazz end. I think Jazz knew that she really didn't like girls from the beginning. But you know how you see in a situation where a person think they can change you. Like, a gay, I've seen this before. A person that's gay thinks they can get a straight person and change them. Let me tell you something, man. If you meet a person that smoke cigarettes, understand, and if you don't like cigarette smoke, cigarettes, then leave that person alone because understand that that's what they do. They're not going to stop unless they're ready to stop. So you can say what you want, do what you want, but that person, they might make you think they stop. Then they smoking cigarettes in the car, smoking cigarettes in the closet, in the bathroom, with the fan on, spraying it, you know what I'm saying? But it's the same way as if a person is gay. You're, if you're gay and a person is straight and you like them, then you're, you can't force you can't make them be what you are or you can't make them be gay for you. It's just not going to happen. They only kind of going to be that if the opportunity fits them or if that's what they're looking for. So I, I never understood how a person that's gay can want to talk to a person that's straight thinking they can eventually change them. It's not going to happen. But anyway, y'all, y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment down in the comment section. Tell me what y'all want to see. And uh, we'll get back with y'all on the next video. Peace.